Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using boilerplate. This is our part number 21. Inside this video session guys, we will see about adding layouts to our plugin. And this is basically the first part where we are adding our plugin layouts. If I back to editor, now in the last video, we had seen that how can we add a style sheets file as well as JavaScript files. If I back to browser, go to plugin. So right now there is no layout for the plugin as we can see that. So firstly, I am going to implement about the layout, let's say for the create book. It means here we have to implement a form. Inside that form, we have a name field like to take the book name like book description, book amount, book image, book status and so on. As we know that while adding our style series file, we have added bootstrap file. If I press Ctrl U to get the source code, search for the bootstrap. And here we can see that we have added bootstrap file, data table file as well as sweetalert.css file. So by using this concept of bootstrap, we are going to use the bootstrap layout. So here, if we open about w3schools.com, go to bootstrap forms, scroll down and firstly, I am going to implement about the panels. Click on the panels, scroll down and if I copy this code, Copy that back to editor. Now inside this partials folder, as we know that if we had discussed about the folder structure of this plugin boilerplate, so in that video we had discussed that if we want to make the layouts of admin panel means of our plugin, so we need to store all the views file inside this partials folder. Actually, this is not mandatory. We can create our own folder inside this admin folder but this is the partials folder where we can store all about the views files so let's say that inside this partials folder i'm going to create a file and let's say that something tmpl let's say create book dot php now this is the file that we have created and inside this file i'm going to make let's say div it's a class row let's say class call sm6 sorry call sm12 this is all about the classes of bootstrap we are using and inside this I'm going to put the code of panel so here we have called panel panel default so instead of default I'm going to use let's say primary here and here let's say create book and inside this panel content we need to create our form here so if i save all these changes back here reload this page so right now we have not integrated about the views file with this layout so let's integrate that first open up this file and inside this file, if we search for this slug, copy this, go here, search for that. So while getting this slug, again if I search here, and after getting this slug, we are calling this function. So if I search for this function, and this function is here. So instead of this simple message, we want to call this layout what we have developed and store inside this partials folder. So to load the partials folder, we are going to use the concept of PHP buffers. So let's say that here we have some functions provided by PHP to implement PHP buffers. Something ob start. Next we have called ob get contents. And finally we have called ob and clean so let's say that ob start it means that we have 
started buffer this is all about reading content and here let's say closing or cleaning buffer if I open up the file the main plugin file scroll down and I am to define a constant here this is a constant for the plugin URL now here I need to define the plugin absolute path so that by the help of this constant actually we can attach our PHP files so let's say that books management tool let's say plugin path and here let's say plugin dir path and inside here let's say file and all about this so this is the plugin path which basically gives the absolute path up to this plugins folder so if I copy this constant back here let's say that obgate contents and before that obgate contents we need to include that file so let's say include once here this is our constant what we have defined so after getting this path we need to go next inside this admin folder and inside this partials folder so let's admin partials next we have to go inside this tmpl create book dot php so here let's say included template file now next we need to store all the content of this file inside buffer so here is the buffer function to read all the content of that file let's say that template and I'm going to read all the content of this buffer to this template variable and here let's say that echo and template so here we have started our buffer reading all the contents storing inside this variable and printing here and before that we have cleaned our buffer so if I save all these changes back to browser reload this page and here is the panel so let's say that if we go to the HTML page we need to give some let's say style there's a margin top something 20 pixel and here is the create book now inside this panel and to implement let's say bootstrap form so go inside this bootstrap form and if I copy this bootstrap horizontal form copy this HTML back to editor and pasting it here so if I make some formatting to this layout save this change if I back to browser and reload this page now we can see that inside this create book panel we have two input elements called name sorry email and the password but we don't want these fields we need our own custom field if I back to slide so we want something about name let's say book email as well something let's say book publication we want something description image let's say amount and status so back to editor now let's say that this is email so we need to change let's say name txt underscore name txt underscore name if I copy and let's create a name attribute pasting it here and let's enter name here and input type text if I copy again this field pasting it here and this time let's say email txt underscore email copy this pasting it here pasting it here enter email 
and this should be something email type. Now next, if I copy pasting it here, this is for the publication. So let's say publication. Copy, pasting it here, pasting it here. And inside this publication, this is input type text. So we have successfully implemented about three fields. If I back to browser reload this page, so we have now name, email and the publication. So next we want something, the three rest fields for something description, image, amount and the status. So again back here. So if I get rid of all these things. Next, we want something about description. Copy this piece of block, pasting it here, and let's say that this is all about description. And instead of this input type, we want something text area. And inside this, let's add some bootstrap class that is form control something id equal to let's say txt description if i copy this attribute name pasting inside this txt description let's place a placeholder something enter description and if i copy this and pasting it here if i save all these changes back here and this is all about description. Next, we have to add called the book image field. So copy, pasting it here. Book image, input type file, let's say txt underscore image, copy that, pasting it here, pasting it here, and remove this placeholder. Again, if I copy, because we want to implement about, let's say, book amount or let's say book cost, txt underscore amount or let's say simply cost, copy, pasting it here. And this is input type number and we want that is maximum value should be 1 and need to place a placeholder that is something enter let's say book cost and at final we need to add a drop down for the book status so copy pasting it here so here is something let's say status this is not about book status this is only a global status so let's say txt underscore status or let's say this will be a drop down so dd underscore status remove this input field and to place a select type and here we have some options so let's say that first let's say active and here let's say value equal to active if i copy if i copy this option value pasting it here and this is inactive and this is inactive now placing some bootstrap class so this should be form control name here let's say dd underscore status so if I save all these changes back to browser reload this page now this is all about this is name email publication description book image cost and status and finally if I again back here so instead of default let's say that success and here is the color for the success class the length of these input boxes is due to because we have the class called call sm10 for all these input boxes if we want to reduce the size simply we need to reduce this call sm10 let's say that we want something call sm4 here so we have changed only for this name field if i save 
back to browser reload this page now as we can see that this is not perfect so same we need to change if I replace so call sm10 I'm to replace with this call sm4 replace all save all these change reload this page now all these input fields now looking very perfect so this is all about the video guys to create a plugin page so inside this video we have simply created the create book page in which we have added these fields in the next video we will make the layout for the book self so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my plan as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day